Hey folks, my name is Mike. This is KEI Fabrication and welcome to my shop. And this is my most recent project and this is my shop truck, my daily driver, my race truck, my garbage truck, and my all-around performance vehicle. It is a junkyard build where we drag two vehicles out of two different junkyards and combine them to make one performance vehicle. If you want to follow along with the channel, you can see the progress of the build on this truck and all the modifications that have been made. So this truck has already been to car shows, it's been road racing, it's been drag racing, and it's been circle track racing. So we've got a bunch more new projects in the queue. We're looking forward to meeting more of you. And for those of you who've been with the channel for a while, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your comments and the interaction and encouragement. I hopefully through this project we've gained some credibility with you folks and let's see what's coming up next. Okay folks, some of you have asked for some specific information regarding putting the 2000 Ford Explorer master cylinder on the Mazda. So the first thing you need to know is, is it's a direct bolt on. There's the, the bolt flange on the master and on the booster is exactly the same. This is the rear proportioning valve here and all this I did was take the line that used to go to the master cylinder and another line that used to go to the rear and looped it. So I just put a 3 16 line in right here to loop it around and you can see that this rear plumbing out of the master cylinder, it's actually stamped R, goes around into the bottom of the factory Mazda proportioning valve and then to the rear. Um, and then the front, um, this used to be the front brake line here. Um, actually this is a factory T, this used to be the front brake line that um, came up into the master cylinder and I plumbed it into my line lock so it comes directly out of the front half of the master cylinder into the line lock into a T and then these distribute out through the uh, to the two front calipers so um, there's an additional modification that needs to be made and it is super simple and I'm going to disassemble this and show you exactly what has to happen and it is just a minor little uh, adapter that slips inside the bore of the master cylinder and I'm going to take this back apart and show you what it is. Alright, so the only thing that is required to mechanically connect the factory Mazda brake pedal to the Ford Explorer plunger inside the uh, master cylinder is this little adapter. Now this adapter, I don't know if you can see it, get it under the light here, this adapter has uh, an ID bore that goes in a partial depth and then it has the required amount of space between the end of that bore to the end of the adapter and what that does is it makes up for the length of the Mazda push rod was not quite long enough to bottom out inside the master cylinder here it really only required about three-eighths of an inch to space it, I made the spacer long so I had plenty of engagement on the push rod itself so it's nice and rigidly located and it doesn't have a tendency to pop out and um, if you don't have this the Ma factory Mazda brake pedal has some adjustment on the push rod but I think it would just go all the way to the floor and not push your master cylinder in anywhere near the required amount. So I did some careful calculations based on the stock Mazda master cylinder and the Ford Explorer. This fits precisely inside. There's almost no slop. It's a nice slip fit and I put a little bit of synthetic grease on this uh, several thousand miles ago. It's been um, probably eight months since I did this conversion and this just is was perfectly lubricated there's no scoring or scuffing and um, this system has worked flawlessly since the day I put it in 
So I am going to get a quote on these so they can be manufactured. If you are using the Ford Explorer master cylinder, I highly recommend this because I don't believe the stock Mazda master cylinder, at least in my experimentation, had anywhere near the volume required to operate the dual piston calipers from the Ford Explorer. So this is kind of a matched component with the 8.8 .8 rear disc brakes and also the Ford Explorer dual piston caliper front brakes. Um, this, I didn't, you know, there's no science, no calculations involved. This is the right master cylinder for that package. So um, I will get a quote on these and you can purchase this as an option along with the rest of the things and I'll let you know how that goes. So this is basically what this looks like uh, with a section view if I cut this down the middle and we expose the internal detail. This area right here is designed for the plunger of the Mazda brake pedal push rod from the master cylinder booster and then this bore goes in and bottoms out inside of the Ford Explorer booster and this gives me the engagement so it stays registered on the push rod and this cylinder bore here rides nice and smooth and it's long enough so it doesn't want to um, get bound up inside the cylinder bore of the master cylinder itself and it is chamfered um, on both ends so it automatically has um, encouragement to move back and forth. So again, some nice synthetic lubricant. The thing goes in there nice and um, I've had no problems with any issues between the brake booster and the master cylinder. Okay, so it's all back together and the cool thing is, is the factory brake proportioning valve bracket fits right under the um, Ford Explorer master cylinder as well so it kind of looks like it's belong there another bonus of this particular master cylinder is you get the bleeder up here so um, the bench bleeding and then on vehicle bleeding all goes really really well so uh, all in all it's a nice package and you will not be disappointed with the stopping power that you gain over the stock brakes and with the conversion package obviously you have the five on four and a half bolt pattern that opens up a whole world of opportunities for wheels from vintage Ford 14's all the way up to to 20's so um, anyway uh, one thing I want to make clear is that this package works great with the rear disc brakes installed on the Ford 8.8 .8 rear and the dual piston calipers from the same Ford Explorer uh, 2000 Ford Explorer Limited that was the V8 all-wheel drive version if you're sourcing parts the um, I do not know how this master cylinder works with the stock Mazda rear brakes I actually did the 8.8 .8 conversion first and ran the 8.8 .8 rear disc brakes off of the stock Mazda master cylinder I did try the stock Mazda master cylinder with the front dual piston calipers and it just didn't work. Oh well it worked but didn't meet my expectations. The brake pedal always felt a little soft. As soon as I put this master cylinder on here the brakes came to life and it worked really 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 good. As you saw I tested this combination on a really fast road course and um, I know my entry speed into the corner um, or my straightaway speed was 115 miles an hour and I was slowing down to like 40 miles an hour repeatedly over and over and over from the main straight into turn one and the brakes didn't fade, the truck did not feel unsafe, it was stable, it stopped straight and um, just really feel, felt like you had a lot of confidence in the brake package. So. Um, Anyway, that's all the information I can provide for you. It's all the things that I did to make this package work for me. And I'm confident that this package will work great for you as well. So 
follow the instructions. I look forward to hearing from you folks and let's get this process going so I can get these parts ordered and manufactured and sent back to you.